Nestled amongst the 20-kilometer golden sands of Natai Beach, Alinta Phuket Panga Resort and Spa for relaxing, romancing, or even a dream wedding in paradise. Alinta Phuket Pangna Resort and Spa is your destination. And I'm here with Kun Ian Phillips, the chairman of Peter Loves You Club. Sawadee Sawadee so, um, Pride coming up again this year, but we're going to talk about that uh, shortly after this. Um, but we heard that every year, each year, that you donate a lot of money to the projects after the event. So could you let us know about the project that you're working with? Certainly. So we're here at the Life Home Project, and we donate, donate 50% of all of the profits we raise through Proof of Phuket Pride mm -hmm. to the Life Home Project. And specifically, we target that money to help with the education of the children to help fund their, their schooling, their books, their uniforms, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we donate the money to the Life Home Project, to really give these children uh, the best possible start in life that mm -hmm. we can give them. Mm -hmm. um, we've been donate. this will be the third year that we donate this money to the Life Home Project. Um, and since then we've also managed to, uh, to build some bridges with them and with some government agencies in that the Life Home Project are now able to support us and supply us with condoms that we're now distributing with all the bars, amongst all the bars in Soy Paradise, mm -hmm. to try and prevent the, the spread of HIV and AIDS okay. within the gay community here in Phuket. Okay, thank you. And apart from Life Home Project, there are other projects as well? Yes, certainly. So we're working with um, the Patong Hospital. Mm -hmm. We're trying to pull together some programs for free testing and support and counselling for people that are within the gay community that want to go to the Sabaidi Clinic and get tested. We're also delivering safe sex message campaigns where every Friday all of the bar staff and waiters in many of the establishments in Soy Paradise are wearing bright red t-shirts with safe sex messages on them. So strong messages not only for the, the people that live and work here but also the tourists that are coming to, to visit Phuket. So coupled with all the condoms and everything that are available free of charge. It's, a, it's quite a lot of work that's gone on by a, a small number of people over the last 12 months. So it's great that Pride is involved with this um, project. So can you let us know about Pride coming up this year, please? Yeah, certainly. So Pride's coming up on the 20th to the 27th of April. We've got a, a whole week of events, um, some really fun events, including uh, an opening party at CC Hideaway in, uh, in Caron Beach. Mm -hmm. We've got a volleyball competition. We've oh. got a day trip to Raya Island. We've got uh, a gala dinner happening. Um, probably at the Millennium Hotel in, in Jung Silon. Um, we'll have uh, a sunset beach party and we'll have the usual parade through the street with all the colour and, and the fanfare that goes with that and a, a large party at Loma Park on the beach uh, followed by a closing tea dance in, in Soy Paradise. Oh, I sound like a lot of fun it's going to be. Yeah, it should be a very, very good event. We're expecting a lot of visitors and a lot of people to come and attend this year. I want to attend that one to Raya Island. <laughs> You'll be welcome. How, how the um, so if we have someone interested and you know how the um, how they can get information about Pride. Well, there's lots of information available on the website, which is www.phuket-pride.org, mm -hmm. uh, and there'll be uh, lots of articles appearing in uh, our main media sponsor, uh, the Phuket News. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there should be lots of information out there. Please visit the website. Okay. And uh, interested sponsors also can go to the website or? Absolutely. So there is a full sponsorship pack available. Mm -hmm. you know, it does cost us money to lay on these events and we do try and deliver as much value back to our sponsors as possible. And there are many ways that people can sponsor either through ca cash uh, or through donations of products and services, perhaps for the, for the auction, for the lucky draw, etc. So there's lots of ways that people can get involved and support Phuket Pride Week. All right. We hope you get a lot of support. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, we're here today with Kun Nopadon Puong Pan, the manager at Life Home Project. Swadika. Swadika. We're going to conduct the interview today in Thai and then we'll do translate, um, a short translation for you. 
Um, first of all, we'd like to ask, um, what is the Life Home project is about and how long has it been going? สำหรับบ้านมูลนิธิบ้านเพื่อชีวิตค่ะไม่ทราบว่าตอนนี้มีโปรเจกต์โครงการของเราเนี่ยมีวิธีการทําอะไรบ้างแล้วก็ดําเนินการมานานหรือยังคะครับผมโครงการบ้านเพื่อชีวิตนะครับตั้งก่อตั้งเมื่อปี2544นะครับหรือแปลว่า2002นะครับก็เริ่มแรกก่อตั้งด้วยสภาพปัญหาของผู้เจ็บป่วย So um, the Life Home Project was set up first set up from two, since 2002, and first to take care of the children who has HIV and the families in uh, in the area. So uh, they have been taken care of and also has act at a safe house for those um, HIV um, victims as well. So uh, the next question: Where are the um, the funding that you get, you know, to support um, the project? ในส่วนของการงบประมาณโครงการบ้านเพื่อชีวิตส่วนใหญ่ทางโครงการเนี่ยไม่ได้มีองค์กร So most of the funding are from the fundraising from different organization because they don't have any main um, one organization to support them so mostly are from communities and people around Phuket and Thailand that support them แล้ว um, so how many children that you are taking care of this day ตอนนี้มีเด็กที่ดูแลอยู่แล้วก็เด็กที่เคยดูแลทั้งหมดเนี่ยเท่าไหร่คะครับตั้งแต่เริ่มโครงการจนปัจจุบันเนี่ยนะครับเรามีเด็กที่เราช่วยเหลือทั้งหมด100 So they have um, support already 180 children all together they support they separate them in three parts um, the small kids are taken care at the daycare here in uh, at the project and then the kids that uh, they send to schools but they support the fund for their educations and the uh, third one they they will taking care of the kids from Uh, from kindergarten up to a bachelor degrees until they graduate from bachelor degrees, and also the um, the mother that has been the HIV victims as well um, as act as a safe help for them. But then uh, after they get better and then they go back to the communities and then they receive the new ones. สำหรับโครงการใช่ไหมคะช่วงนี้มีกิจกรรมอะไรแล้วก็ในอนาคตมีกิจกรรมในส่วนของเป้าหมายของของโครงการด้านเพื่อชีวิตหลักๆจริงๆนะครับเราส่วนหนึ่งเนี่ยเราเป็นที่พักพิงสำหรับผู้ป่วย AIDS. Okay. The main three objectives for the Life Home Project: you know, first to help the HIV victim to um, help them train and uh, help with their health until they get better and back to the communities. Second, at the children from uh, the parents that they have HIV to give them education as much as um, as further as they can. And the third one, in the future, they want to promote the um, protections. So uh, give the communities the education about how to protect themselves and not get getting into the troubles. So we wish them all the good luck and all their good works here at Life Home Project. Thank you very much. very interesting to see where the money goes each year from Picket Pride Week and if you would like to get more information from Picket News TV, The Picket News or Life 89.5 or here. Thank you for joining us on Picket News TV. Beautiful,